There was one particular Australian cartoon that I remember that was produced by an Australian production company and the show was called Crocs and all of the characters were crocodiles or alligators and it was a pretty run-of-the-mill children's cartoon. There were good guys, there were bad guys, there was um, wrongdoing afoot, there was an adventure to try to find it and then everyone lives happily ever after at the end. There's nothing remarkable about the actual... There's nothing remarkable about the actual cartoon. However, I remember watching a few episodes and thinking it was a pretty it was a pretty all right show. You know, it was comparable to Blinky Bill and that other cartoon show with the dolphins. Don't remember its name. And so at one point I was with my dad and I said, "This show, I really like this show. It's a it's a good show." And so he and I watched it together. And that episode of Crocs decided to just throw the whole idea of storytelling out the window. It was very strange. The whole... It was very strange. The whole plot was just thrown out the window. You were, had characters doing one way or the other. And... It was... Uh, it's really indescribable the way that the plot and the way that the characters interacted was just so messy in that episode and it was a bit it was a little bit S LSD like with the way that everything just seemed to go crazy like someone was stoned while they wrote this episode and so that was my father's first impression of this cartoon called Crocs and I had to say to him, that is not what most of the episodes were like. It's a pretty good show otherwise, but this is one of those weird episodes. And he said, so, he, say, he replied to me by saying, oh, so this is the exception, it's a good show. And I said, yeah, this is, this is not the normal Crocs. So, when he spoke directly to me, he acknowledged what I had said. I had said that this episode was an exception and that the normal episodes are not like that and you need to appreciate that. I had said that to him and he acknowledged it. But he didn't take that information on board because straight away afterwards The reason I had to be so defensive was because I didn't want him to judge the show based on this one episode. That it's not right. This is not a good first impression. This is not what the show's normally about. And so I was defensive because I wanted to defend the show as a legitimate show to watch. Because I liked it. And I was worried that he would be too judgmental about it. I was rather worried that he would think bad of me for liking this show. So, I had assumed that he would trust me when I, when I gave him an explanation, and he would take that on board. But he didn't. He did what I feared he did. He, would, he did what I feared he would do which is to take this one episode, assume that it is a accurate representation of the entire show, and to judge the entire show on that one episode. And so to judge me negatively by my desire to watch it. So next week rolls around. This time it's not just me and him, but it's um, a adult friend of the family's was there as well. And so I was there watching the cartoon, sitting in front of the TV watching the cartoon, and those two were sitting at the table chatting. Those two were sitting at the table chatting. And Crocs comes on, he points to the TV and says to the, uh, the other person, the family 
friend, the adult family friend. This is one of the weirdest shows I've ever seen. And it was clear that he had already decided to judge the show entirely on that one episode. And he hadn't... He hadn't taken my advice. And he seemed to, when the way he said it, dismiss the show as unimportant and silly and ridiculous. And not worth paying proper attention to. And so that really frustrated me. After I had spent so long trying to curate a proper... a, a proper understanding of the show, he just decided to not listen to me properly and just do his own thing once again. So thanks a lot, Dad.